it may okay. be expensive if you meet 20 times in a month, as is alleged, 467 <laughs> meetings. So if you add the 80,000 times 20 in a month, that is 1.6 million. You are more paid than the CIC. No, no, actually, look, I've done the numbers. Okay. When you do <laughs> the number of, for example, I've taken 10 million shillings in the last three years. You have when taken 10 million? Yes, above. when you yes. divide 10 million, divide by 36 months, yes. I'm taking about 200,000, 250,000 a month. Right. So it's much cheaper than the person who earned 750,000. Mm -hmm. And also those okay. commission, those commissioners, they also <laughs> is, have been sitting alone. Actually, I have, a okay. um, yes. I have a statement okay. here from you, um, Winfred uh, Mokaya, who says that the high number of meetings was, necess was necessitated by the transformation program yeah. Yeah. Um, because you are hiring more judges, magistrates, and judicial staff yeah. who are presently serving um, the public and that the number of meetings is on a steady decline. But of course... Actually, from next year, <coughs> you know, now we mm. have finished the interviews of judges. Right. It has come to an end. There yes. will be no more interviews. The only <coughs> interviews the JEC will be conducted from now is either finance or disciplinary. So the high number. I mean, you remember we interviewed the Chief Justice, the Deputy Chief Justice, Court yeah. of Appeal, High I Court. I think it's All understandable. Sh the the was frequency not, uh, is understandable. Mm. Shalei was not be taken uh, out bad of until you realize that uh, some things were happening in the, in the judiciary. W what credit can you give her for that time she was in the office? She was in the office. I think the only credit, and I'm fair to her, she had a lot of energy. Yes. And um, a lot of but energy to attack to you? No. <laughs> but no, she had a lot of energy. But it does seem that in that energy, she stepped on a couple of toes, yeah. and that uh, th her, her trials, her tribulations, are the result of that, because she has told us time and again that she's been facing opposition to her work. No, no, no. She is the sole author of okay, our Okay, fine. Um, <laughs> right, this is what one, uh, another viewer says. Cholet is only a victim of passive, aggressive leaders in the JSC. There is a need to institute a commission of inquiry to dig out the dirt in the JSC. What a bunch of liars you are. Um, and, and that's the feeling. I mean, when we look at you, you're not without your own controversies. There was the issue of your pupillage certificate. Um, you appeared before Parliament in connection with the National Serials uh, Board. Uh, there's been talk about the uh, Mombasa um, oh. Court of Appeals uh, land deal. So uh, if you were to clear you know, yourself before Kenyans. You know, Kenyans are entitled to their views. Right. But uh, one thing I've said about Kenyans and which I like repeating is they're very episodic in terms of their judgment. Today when there is an issue, they form very strong views. The next day there's another issue, they form a completely different. Kenyans are entitled to their views and that is their right. But they must be fair and objective in their analysis. Okay, I mean so the uh, pupillage certificate. No, no, people, that's rubbish, you know. I mean, I did pupillage like anybody else. You right. know, when you graduate from the university, which I did in 1990, we were 250. Everybody in that class was attached to a law firm. I was one of them. In, 1990, in 1991, January, the 250 of us went to the School of Law. In April, we set for the exam, the 250 of us. So we are, everybody knows where we were. So in April, we finished the pupillage. In August, I went to Cornell. I came back in 2002. I was admitted. So every, I mean, we are 250 guys. Everybody okay. knows that Ahmed was doing pupillage in a law firm in Rehm House. Okay. I, w I knew, for example, that Jessalona was doing with Hamilton at ICA. So the issue of not me doing pupillage, there's that issue, but also that you forged the signature of Peter Simani, who unfortunately um, yes, was killed in the Westgate at uh, attack. But who makes these allegations? You know who makes it? Is it Simani who said, I forged the signature? Uh, answer the, the question. The question yeah. is, but how, did, how, come, but how come Simani yeah. did not come out right. and just I'm clarify saying, no, that yes. so that the matter rested? Actually, he said he, he would appear the before Parliament if someone. No, no, no. Give him credit. He wrote a letter to the law site in which he laid all this to rest and said that Ahmed did two pillage and I have signed his certificate. It's there. Okay. Is it? Yes. Okay. Let's right. address Excellent. that. was set a long time, but why don't you, who make the allegation? Is it Simani who made the allegation? The serial board. It's the Yongo. It's not the serial board. Brian Yongo. Yes, now yes. About who the is board. Brian Yongo? Was he my people master? Was he my classmate? You seem to have personal issues. No, no, but around the you, know, you must contextualize, you know. I mean, every Tom, Dick, and Harry, every charlatan who says something about Ahmed is a news item, you know that. But, but the same could be said about you. That you know that you say things, all sorts of things about uh, no people. What, no, what I say is factual. Is it? <laughs> 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 Including calling people spies? Okay. You no, know, I mean, l let's uh, go to the serial board <laughs> issue. Serial board. <laughs> you know, again, uh, I, you know, some s I mean, it's not fair. Serial board, I'm not the lawyer for serial board. Mm -hmm. I'm not the lawyer even for error supplies. Mm. Error supplies and serial board had a dispute. They had their own lawyers. They went for arbitration before an arbitration. I was not involved in the case. 
the arbitrator made a determination that serial board should pay three million. They went to the high court. I was not the lawyer. So why well, do let you me come finish? Yes. I was not the lawyer. The judge said, no, 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 serial board is wrong. Let them pay this money. A judgment was the judgment of the arbitrator was va was validated by the high court. By the high court, yes. When they were doing the execution, the lawyer acting for error said I should lead him as a lead as a senior lawyer. I have led him in three, four applications. That is my role. It came to an end. I was not there when the case started. I was I did not do any of the initial cases. I argued three applications in the high court on execution. And I told even Parliament when they called me. The allegation yes, is yes. that you manipulated those arguments, those uh, cases you argued, the three that applications. you wield a lot of influence over the judiciary and judges, either through friendship or intimidation. You procure certain favorable rulings or actions. Let me ask you again, who made that allegation so that they did that? <laughs> again, it is the yes, plaintiff. Yes. No, not the plaintiff. There, there, I mean, the young <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Someone that writes letters. Does that negate the allegation? That? Does it does it negate the allegation? No, no. If the you know, source of the if allegation. You, if, if you can only appreciate the judge I appeared before, the allegations I've made. You know, it's so unfair to that right. judge. Eh? I mean, he is a man. I mean, he is such. You know, it's so unfair that a charlatan can write a letter like that, and even Parliament says, "Oh, Ahmed should be investigated because he may have influenced the case." For God's sake, that case. There is no way serial okay. will win that case because we, of certain fundamental mistakes they have made. For example. There's a judgment against them. They're not appealing that judgment. And I've told Parliament, they are not appealing that judgment. They have not filed a notice of appeal. Then they are addressing some secondary issues. And the court every time tell them, you know, but why are you addressing this issue? If you are serious, why don't you appeal against that judgment? We why have no, don't, we have why don't that. they address that issue? We have why are the they not appealing against that judgment? We have known in the past, uh, Ahmed uh, Nasir, uh, where lawyers, uh, certain lawyers were very influential in the system. They, they would even go to court and uh, influence that. I think the image coming out, and I don't know what I, I will you me uh, mention about it, uh, is that uh, Ahmed Nasir is very influential, you know, in the court against the uh, serial board, he influenced. Ahmed Nasir is now causing problems in the GSE, wanting to remove Sholei. Ahmed Nasir is in this and that. Um, how does it sit on you? When Actually, you know, uh, when, when I became a member of the JC, I made a conscious decision to scale down my practice. Mm -hmm. The last three years, I have rarely gone to court. I think I've gone to less than three or five cases because every time I go to court, of course, people are saying, oh, you're a member of the JC, you cannot appear. So I said, okay, during these five years, during these three years, let me scale down. And I've really scaled down. Except the for the Supreme Court ruling, yeah. though, yes, during the, the election verdict. But you see, the problem is, the problem is, there are some people, if their car has an accident in Mombasa, they say, Ahmed caused it. <laughs> There's a people, if their wives are bought, they would say, Ahmed caused it. There's a people, if it rains, it says, Ahmed caused the flood. Okay. So I'm You're everybody's it. favorite bogeyman. Yeah, I yes. think no, so. But, <laughs> but and, and I'm but used to that. Let right. me give you one example. When I was chairman of the Law Society, I was also chairman of the Kenyan Anti-Corruption Commission. Everybody was saying there's a conflict of interest. Mm -hmm. Ahmed has joined the government. He can't be the chairman of Law Society. He can't be the chairman of Anti-Corruption. But the Law Society is not happy with you. Wait, wait. I'll come to that. Eh? Mm. The Law Society is very happy with me, by the Are way. They? When I left that position, Okongo Omogeni was the chairman of the Law Society and he was chairman of the Kenyan Anti-Corruption Commission. Nobody talked about it. Right. Yes. Um, so th the Law Society of Kenya, because of course you're in the JSC as their representative, and you said you were not going to run, they announced it, upon which you then said, actually, um, I'm reconsidering my position and I'm placing myself up for yes, yes. Um, you know what happened. You know, I don't think people are fair to the Law Society. The mm. Law Society first has no role in determining who is the representative. Right. This is a <coughs> democratic process. Last time when we ran, we were 17 men and 16 men. 16 women running for those two positions. Out of the 16 men, I got 50% of the vote. The, 60, the 16 others shared 50%. I have um, said I will run again. Why? Why did you change your mind? I wanted to do some other things. Such as? <laughs> Many other things. Such as? <laughs> Expanding my media house. Mm -hmm. But I said now, I think we'll continue with the judiciary. Why is that? I think I'm, uh, I'm required to... You're required. Yes. It does seem as if you were so trying to, the to, uh, to, to show the LSK that uh, if they don't want you, you can force yourself on them. No, no, no. But really? you see, it's not the issue of LSK mm. wanting me mm. or forcing myself. 
every member of the law society, and I think we are about now 9,000, but 5,000 okay. practicing. Okay, let they me will qualify come, that. They will the come LSK on, committee, They will come on the polling day and they will vote. Right. If you don't want Ahmed, there are hundreds of others mm -hmm. running. So you will vote for a candidate of your choice. If I lose that election, I'm... So you're running. <laughs> of course I am. Okay, excellent. Um, so going back to Cholet... And um, many lawyers want me to run, by the way. Because you're Mr. Fix? <coughs> no, 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 it's not fair. Right. Yes. Um, <laughs> going back to the Chile issue, the women are now coming out in force. Good morning. The JSC um, is gender arrogant, just as Kenyan men are slapping and abusing women publicly. Um, that came from, so there's no confidence. Can uh, I answer that? Just th there's there's yes, a similar because one. Because it's very important. Mm -hmm. There's yeah. a similar one. S so okay. let me allow you to answer them both. Ahmed Nasir, I think you have a mission to take over the office, which is okay to be ambitious, but th that does not give you the right to implicate someone and her family. That is her business. The commission has issues with women and leadership. And that came from First, Sue. There are two things I want to clarify, and I've <coughs> said this. I have, I, I, have, I have a policy that I will never run for any office in the judiciary. I don't want to become a judge of the High Court, the Court of Appeal, the Supreme Court, or Chief Justice. And I've said this many times. Because when you create or when you participate in the repart of an institution, it doesn't make sense, you know, to participate in, in, it, yeah. in it. And that's what I said in King Anti-Corruption Commission. The first time when I became chairman, I said I will never apply for a job with the King Anti-Corruption Commission because I participated in that. On issue of gender, when we came as a JSC, women were underrepresented in all spheres, in the Supreme Court, in the, high, in the Court of Appeal, in the High Court. We made a conscious decision, and now I think women probably represent like 30, 40 percent of the mm -hmm. high court, 30, 30 percent in the court of appeal. Court of appeal, there was only one lady. Now I think they're about, about, about 10, I think. Okay. Yes, yes. <coughs> so JAC is very sensitive on gender matters. It's gender matters, but I think it's also character matters, because um, take this uh, text from Bennett and Wingy. Shalei is a strong woman fighting batch of men who don't want change. So it's not just about the number of women you have, but it's the quality of women you have. And so we saw, you know, just as with uh, the Deputy Chief Justice, the former one, Nancy Barraza, and with Gladys um, uh, Cholet, whatever they did, strong women being brought down. Um, there are those who would argue that men have done the same and worse, you know, and they are left alone. No, it's not true. Really? Yes, yes it's not true. Mm. I mean, I think we all know the circumstances that led to Barraza. We all know the circumstances that underpin the dismissal of uh, Cholet. A strong women, I think, are appreciated everywhere they go. And I think there are many strong women in the judiciary. If you look at the judges, they are very strong women. But you know, when you're a strong woman, it doesn't mean that you break, uh, I mean, you, you, know, you run no, over I the place. Or, I mean, there are rules I and regulations. No, no, you can on. be a strong woman within the rules. Right. Be a strong man with, uh, within the rules. Okay. But when you are strong and you break the rules, mm -hmm. you said something. I, the I rules will I always apply, whether you are strong or weak. I think I, I, I need to agree with uh, Ahmed when he says he talks about um, uh, the gender issue. I think Kenyans should also appreciate that uh, corruption has no gender. Uh, much as I don't want to implicate uh, Sholei, the issue here, we should not also have our, our ladies. Wh whenever they are accused of having made some mistakes, they will now bring in the gender issue. It's just like the way I would bring in a, a religious issue. Uh, mm -hmm. If I today say Ahmed has done a mistake, then he says, no, Muslims are being attacked or Christians are mm -hmm. being attacked. I think uh, even wha when it comes to issues of uh, gender, we should not trivialize uh, by using it to our own advantage, even when probably somebody is accused of having made some mistakes. Well, Ahmed Nasser said uh, the only thing he can credit mm -hmm. Shalei with is Her a lot energy. of energy. The rest seems to be neither here nor there. You can't credit her, you know, with much of the steer stewardship of uh, that reform, even though under the Chief Justice. And all your references to her are very contemptuous, <laughs> condescending. And in your tweet, tweets, people are saying, you know, this is not the kind of leadership we expect from you and the JSC, I understand, you know, uh, uh, about one of their own. What would you say to that? No, no, you know, uh, first let's be fair in terms of what credit we can give her. And I think I give her credit. I mean, she had a lot of energy. She was running the place administratively fairly well. But let us get it clear. She had no role in the transformation of the judiciary. The conceptual or the philosophical basis of that was way out of her sphere. 
uh, that theoretical framework or the idea to transform the judiciary was principally written by the Chief Justice and a transformation committee. Uh, you know, you know this issue of someone reformer, reformer is a word that's mm. fairly abused. Eh? You can't become a reformer when you have never been a reformer. Mm. Yes. So in terms of reforming the judiciary, Cholet played zero work. That one we have to be there. But in terms of running the place... Okay. It's unfortunate that we don't have her here um, to... Um, uh, I'm with her tonight. Uh, well, we hope that uh, we will yes. have her on the program uh, 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 next week. Um, here's someone who's supporting you. Um, Ahmed Nasir is a perfect lawyer, so please, if you're good in your field and practice, why blame the fruits which come out? If someone is good, they're good. That came from Jacqueline Chepkoni in Malindi. But somebody else says that they were on a matatu yesterday, um, and one of Cholet's colleagues was talking that they were forced to give a false press brief on Cholet, so please let the commissioner talk the truth and fear God. We are fed up of the whole judiciary, and that comes from Lydia. Yes, I don't know. In that matter, I was not there. Mm. But whatever I say here is the truth. Right. Nothing but the truth. So what next uh, after you say... Uh, Just we, we have right. to um, take a break now. Um, and so we'll, we will come to that. Um, you're watching Cheche live on Citizen TV. Our guest this morning is the Commissioner Ahmed Nasir Abdullahi of the Judicial Service Commission also editor of the Nairobi Law Monthly. When we come back, uh, as you just heard, um, we will be talking about what next for the judiciary. If you have any questions or opinions, the SMS number is 22422.